Hey guys, John here, and uh, it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos, but today we're doing a, another firewood video, and today we're going to be talking about sassafras and whether or not it's good firewood. And I actually had somebody in the comments for one of these videos a, a little while ago ask about sassafras and whether or not that's, that's a, good, a good type of wood to use for firewood. And so I, I did a bit of research on it, and I'm going to share what I learned with you. So, First, before we kind of get into like burning it and what, to, what that's like, I wanted to just share some, some uh, facts about how you can identify a sassafras tree so that you know what you're looking at is actually sassafras. <laughs> so the easiest way probably to identify sassafras is by the leaves. And so what I have here is I've got just a, a sprig or, or a twig of uh, sassafras. And sassafras has uh, three different types of leaf formation. They have a double lobe leaf like this one here. They have a single lobe leaf, like this one. You can see just the one leaf lobe coming off. And then they have leaves with no lobes. And the twigs of uh, sassafras, it's a, it's a simple leaf, so it's all coming straight off of the twig. It's not a compound leaf. And the twig that the leaves come off of tends to stay green. So with a lot of other types of trees, it's gonna be brown on the twig. But with sassafras, it actually tends to stay uh, quite a bit greener than it would for a lot of other types of trees. But personally, I think when you're looking at the leaves, probably the easiest way to identify it is if you can just find one of these double lobe leaves, because this double lobe shape is just pretty unique um, for the trees, especially in this area here in the Midwest. And so that's, that's one way that you can go about it. Another thing that you can do with the leaf is if you take a leaf and you kind of scrunch it up and crush it, you can actually smell it and it produces like a kind of a sweet citrusy smell. And uh, so that's kind of another way that you could identify sassafras is if you crush the leaf up, or you can actually even do that with the bark. And so if you like peel a little piece of bark off, you can actually smell it. Or if you take like a knife, oh, there, I got a piece off there. You can actually smell it just by taking off a little piece of bark, just like that. You can smell it's kind of like a, a, a light, like citrusy smell. Um, and so those are a couple of ways that you can identify sassafras. And uh, another thing that you can look, up, look for is where it's growing. So I'm actually in a, a stand of sassafras trees. You might be able to see some of the, the trees behind me. Um, not all of them are sassafras, like this one's cherry, but uh, there's a lot of sassafras trees here behind me. And they tend to grow in uh, kind of right next to a clearing. So right next to like a lake or uh, a field or something of that nature where there's like an opening in the forest, that's where they tend to grow. And so if you're kind of looking for identification, if you tried some of these things with the leaves and the bark, but you're not quite sure, if you're also right next to a clearing, that's just additional evidence for you to see if you've found the right tree that you're looking for, if you're looking for a sassafras. So now transitioning and looking, uh, kind of moving into the conversation about firewood, um, a couple things I'll point out. I think kind of the summary takeaway for sassafras is it makes really nice firewood for like outdoor campfires. So it has kind of a, a light fruity smell, kind of like we talked about the, the leaves kind of having the citrusy smell and the bark having a smell. You get kind of that sweet fruity smell when you burn it for a campfire as well. So it's kind of a nice one to burn outside. Um, the heat output of sassafras is um, not, ver not very high. And so it can be nice for like an outdoor campfire, but it wouldn't be that much heat for like a, a wood stove or a fireplace. The heat output is about 18.9 million BTUs per cord, um, and that's a number from uh, the University of Kentucky. I think it was their extension office there. So I'll put a link down to where I got that number if you wanna have a look at it yourself in the description. And uh, so that's kind of close to something like a sycamore or a silver maple, just as a comparison of what you're looking at for heat output for sassafras. Um, thinking about splitting it, if you're splitting some sassafras, the, the wood of sassafras is really straight grained, and so that makes it a lot easier to split. And uh, another thing a lot of people look at for firewood is how much smoke it produces. And so it doesn't produce too much smoke, so some, some trees are kind of known to produce a, a, like <laughs> a lot of smoke or like plumes of smoke, if you will. Uh, but sassafras is not really that way. It's not too much on the, on the smoke end. So there's a few things to keep in mind. And uh, before we wrap it up, just another kind of fun fact about sassafras that you might find interesting. And uh, if you're familiar with sassafras, you might already know this, but sassafras was originally used, uh, or was the thing originally used for like very early root beer. And so I think that's kind of an interesting thing. And they also made uh, sassafras tea out of it. 
Um, there, there are still some people who will do this, but it's not as common today because sassafras is now a, it's a, a known carcinogen, <laughs> so people don't use it as much for that sort of a thing as they used to. But um, yeah, I guess to wrap it up, if you're looking for, you're looking at some sassafras trees and you're wondering if it's good firewood, it can be great for outdoor campfires, um, but the, the heat output is just not quite as high if you're looking for something uh, for your wood stove. If it's in the dead of winter, maybe then you go for something like oak or hickory or, or something like that. So that's a wrap. I hope you've, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any of your own thoughts about sassafras and, um, or if you've used it yourself, please feel free to leave a comment. I love hearing your guys' comments, so um, I'd love to have you leave a comment down below this video. Thanks everyone. Bye.